you wonder ever, you're a bad man? World needs bad men. We keep the other bad men from the door. True Detective was awesome. That goes without saying. It was a unique crime drama that starred the hottest stars from the silver screen. I don't remember the last time a show's first season got this kind of star power. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Its titular characters were Rustin Cole and Martin Hart, played by the McConaughey's and Tallahassee, who played their respective roles to absolute perfection. While a lot has been said about Rustin Cole, I've checked, it's a lot. Not much has been discussed about his sidekick, Martin Hart. So here's one to you, Martin. As always, be sure to subscribe. It helps out more than I can say. Martin is the type of guy who, in his own words, described himself as a regular type dude with a big ass dick. His basic functioning is not wanting to be an outlier, not to stand out in the crowd. I just want you to stop saying odd shit, like you smell a psycho's fear or you're in someone's faded memory of a town. Just stop. At least not the way that people in the 80s and 90s would consider weird and creepy. It was not cool back then to be the oddball. He did everything that was required to fit the mold. Play sports in high school, grow up, have a respectable job, be a man of God, marry a quiet, collected wife, and have kids. The simple life. Marty wanted to believe himself to be a good person, but in the end, he was just like anybody else. He half-assed all these things. He had a steady job that was well respected in the 80s and 90s, but he made sure to give it his absolute bare minimum. He was happily married to a beautiful woman, but he cheated on her multiple times. We might have only been shown the two instances, but there had to be more. He cheated on her every chance he got. That too with the hottest chicks, Marty had game. He had kids but was never around to raise them, but he didn't miss a chance to exercise his authority as their father. He's just another cog in the machine. Marty might have lived in the 90s, but his lifestyle matched that of 50s America. He had followed the roadmap and was now set in his ways. He was a product of his upbringing and surroundings and couldn't think for himself. He, like most sheeple, went with the flow and the norm. If confronted with an idea different from his, he'd rather shut it down than to think about taking time to critically think on it. People around here don't think that way. Blatantly saying that different ideologies aren't accepted. Marty wanted to fit in so badly that from time to time, he would have to delude himself into believing his actions were justified. And nothing highlights this better than his marriage. He certainly didn't love his wife. He might have thought he loved her. He might have even cared for her, but he did not love her because you don't cheat on the one you love. Mari tried to justify it to himself and Maggie that he was starting to become distant because he didn't want to bring his work home. That is too gruesome and violent. But you see, that was nothing but an excuse. And I understand the not getting work home part. You don't want to be telling stories about seeing dead girls with antlers on their heads tied to a tree to your kids. That would be a horrible bedtime story. But the delusion to even use that as an excuse to justify cheating is just atrocious. So there is a level of cognitive dissonance and a strong affinity for denial and manipulation. You want me to talk about the woman had antlers? And everything that made Marty a normal guy who fit in also made Rust unusual and stick out like a sore thumb. This stark contrast between these two men is highlighted when they talk about religion. I think it's safe to say that nobody here is going to be splitting the atom, Marty. You see that? Your fucking attitude. Marty tells Rust that he puts his faith in the Almighty, and then when Rust shares his views on the subject, he dismisses Rust. He closes his mind instead of giving Rust's words some thought. Why ask if you're not going to listen? He brushes off what and why Rust is saying. Now, I'm not saying Rust completely makes sense on his assessment of human nature. The guy tends to drone off, but there is a bit of truth hidden in there. Yeah, let's make the car a place of silent reflection from now on. This dismissive behavior is carried over from their casual interactions to parts of their professional interactions as well. This place is like somebody's memory of a town and the memory's fading. Stop saying shit like that. It's unprofessional. But it did not matter because let's be honest here. If not for Rust, many more innocent women would have kept on disappearing. Marty was more than happy to accept the pat on his back for closing the case despite never confirming with the suspect because Marty got carried away with his emotions and blew his brain clean off. He had not a single care or shred of self-doubt that maybe, just maybe, he might have taken out the wrong guy. And this is worse when you realize that at any point during the case, he never gave a damn about anything. Except the time when he saw those underage girls at Ledoux's house, and we all know what he did after that. 
The cause of contention between him and Rust just comes down to how they think. Rust has a very analytical mind, while Martin works from his emotions. And hence, everything Rust says is just like word salad to him. And Rust being Rust says the most absurd shit Marty has ever heard. I can smell a psychosphere. He is a type of dude that does not spend his time dwelling over a single thought to the point of obsession and I think we all know those people in real life. They just don't have it in them to do it because it's a waste of time and rightfully so. It is a waste of time to think about your own existence. What good does that do to a person? You will still wake up, eat, do your work and go to bed. These type of thoughts just hinder that process and render you depressed. That's not Martin's way of living. And this is not a point of criticism, it's rather the beauty that he goes to bed at night without these awful existential questions. To be fair to him, he must have thought about it at some point in time but just couldn't go deep enough into analyzing it because he does not have the capacity to think beyond a certain level, certainly not at the level that Rust operates. So they could not be more different in their thinking, upbringing and outlook towards life. To put it in simple terms, Martin is an optimist, not because he truly thinks life is good but because he does not want to think that life is inherently just a raw deal of being born, reproducing and dying. But this is what makes them a good team since they balance each other out. Martin eventually got Rust to date a woman after his wife died. He kinda loosened him up and I'm sure Martin learned a lot from Rust as well. Although it isn't shown much here except that he learned to trust him. That could also be because Rust was the actual genius and the main character of the show and they needed him to shine more than Marty. But Marty provided Rust with access to information because of his position and influence that he had in the police department. If it wasn't for Marty, Rust would not have been able to solve the case. You could say Rust would have reached out to anybody else but everyone hated Rust because he was an enigma and was considered a freak and the only person that knew of Rust's ability was Marty and he trusted Rust and that was the reason Rust could only reach out to Marty after all those years even after they had a falling out. Overall, Marty is not a special person, he is the quintessential average person you could meet but if there was a redeeming quality is that he let Rust be Rust. I just want you to stop saying odd shit. In fairness, I did not like that his character was overshadowed by Rust's sheer greatness. I wish they would have made Marty a bit more interesting and a bit more fierce in terms of his opinions and made him a bit more intelligent to counteract the brilliance that Rust exhibited throughout the show so that we could get a fair fight between an optimist and a pessimist. But I'm okay with how things played out in the show, it did not affect the whole series for me. And with that said, if you liked the video, share it with people who might find this interesting and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.